Hey, welcome back guys. It was exactly one year ago that I made this pizza pill. It was actually the first video that I posted to the channel. So the pizza peel or pizza spatula is really used for several different things. It's, it's number one, a transport vessel. You can move your pizza from point A to point B. You can easily get your pizza out of the oven without uh, causing uh, a burn to your hand. And you can also use the pizza peel or pizza spatula to cut your pizza on and serve it. So since it's the one year anniversary for the channel, or at least the first video posted, I thought it'd be fun to go back and take that original footage and re-edit it using some of the things I've learned over the past year and actually talk you through the process of making the pizza peel. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. So I actually made the pizza peel in January of 2018. It was pretty cold that uh, January. So uh, I had the wood stove burning and uh, that was actually the first season I had the wood stove. The pizza peel is made out of rough sawn cherry that was given to me by my cousin and also a piece of rough sawn walnut who also was given to me by my cousin. I used that and cut it down to size into manageable pieces and then kind of uh, got everything lined up to where I wanted it. I used a piece of MDF and some wedges and also using some hot glue to uh, go ahead and get a, a flat face on the face of each piece of cherry. That gives you a flat face, then you can turn it over and then run it to the planer and get the second flat face or parallel face. I used the router table to actually joint those pieces of wood. And if you guys would like, I can show you how to do that sometimes. It's really easy to do if you have a router table. I try to use the dust collection as much as possible. It definitely helps keep the dust down in the shop. I went ahead and cut those pieces down to the size that I wanted them and then proceeded to glue those up using the pipe clamps. Pipe clamps are a really, really good way of gluing things up. They're really strong. I took a piece of paper and drew out the shape that I wanted for the pizza peel, uh, cut that out. So I taped that down to the cherry and then marked out the template onto the cherry so I'd know how to, how to cut it out using the bandsaw. So this bandsaw is old, it's at least 20 years old I would say. It's given to me by a friend from church and unfortunately he's no longer with us but I use the bandsaw all the time. It works really good for projects like this. It doesn't work well for really thick stock. It's not really designed for that. Using a drill press you can do a lot of different things but for this project they use it as a sander and that works really well to get the edges nice and smooth. Once I had the edges smooth and everything shaped out, I ran it back to the planer again using the same method as before and got a nice flat face, turned it over, and then got the parallel face. And that makes it really, really flat. I marked out on a piece of walnut the shape of my handle. Cut that out with a bandsaw. Smoothed out all the edges. Rounded over all the edges using the router table in a rounding bit. Then I glued the walnut to the handle of the pizza peel. I think I had to use just about every clamp I had to clamp that down and then I got all the excess glue off and let it sit overnight. Once it was set and dry, I went back and smoothed all the edges again using the sander and the router table. And then I touched up the, the surface of the wood using my disc sander. 
having it attached to the dust collector also works really well. Finish it off by a little bit of hand sanding. You need to flatten the end of the pizza peel so it slides into the pizza well when you're trying to get your pizza off of your, your grill or off out of your pizza oven. I did drill a hole in the center of the handle so it could be so it could be hung up if you want to, and then I proceeded on to branding the peel. I heat up the brand using the wood stove. It works really good if you set it down into some hot coals. And then it only takes a few seconds to actually put the brand on the wood. If you sand it a little bit after you brand it, it'll take some of the, it'll make it look a little bit more crisp. I like to use mineral oil and beeswax when putting, uh, when I'm gonna oil either a cutting board or the pizza peel. That works really well. So I heat it up on the wood stove and melt it all together and uh, then I apply it to the, to the project. I've only applied it to this pizza peel maybe three or four times this year and it still looks really good. So I've had a blast on the first year on YouTube and I thought it'd be fun to share with you the first project I did and I kind of wanted to do a voiceover or talk you through it so you could kind of see what I was doing. So anyhow, I'm looking forward to year two on YouTube. This has been a really awesome experience and I met a lot of really nice people um, that have subscribed to the channel and watched videos and, and share with me their experience, which is really cool. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video. The pizza in and out of your oven. It can be used to cut your pizza.